made out of love, love, love. a raincoat of love, 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 love. Fun Home's a really important story because it's the first major musical that has a lesbian protagonist. It's a very universal show because it explores one character at the age of nine and also at the age of 19 and also as an adult. I play adult Alison who is drawing her memories from her childhood. So I am watching them relive through these memories and drawing them at the same time. What resonates most for me is Medium Alison. Everything about her, her insecurities, her anxieties, the way she discovers her sexual identity and her self-doubt, it just, it, it's so nice to feel so close to a character. Right at the beginning of the show, it's known that something tragic is going to happen to Bruce. And so therefore, I guess as an audience, you start putting little pieces together in those different scenarios, which jump in different time frames, as to why he may have done what he did. I would describe the music in Fun Home as very original. It's not something you've heard before, but at the same time, it feels very familiar, I think, because of what, what is being told through the music. Um, and the underscoring within the show is beautiful and it kind of just takes the story to the next level and the audience follow that within the music. And that's when I knew, oh, 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 everything's all right, babe. When we're you know, music has a magic way of moving us um, beyond what, what words come out of our mouth. You know, when you start to sing, it's, it's, it's heightened and I think these themes, although maybe don't traditionally lend themselves to a music theatre style, do really sing out in the style. I hope Fun Home will inspire audiences. There are so many amazing ways that Fun Home can impact a person and I just hope the audience gets even a glimmer of one of those things. I think the impact uh, will be enormous. I think above all, I hope it will make people love each other because that's really what we're called to do, is love one another, regardless of our sexuality, our diversity, our colour, our race. I think it calls us to love one another no matter what. We've been waiting a couple of years now to do Fun Home in Melbourne and finally we get to do it and it's going to be amazing. <laughs>